It's music reaction time. Oh, yeah. And today we have a recommendation from y'all. Mm -hmm. Someone from Sweden named John Henrik. Mm -hmm. Yes, for those of you who follow the Swedish Got Talent show called Ten Lang, this guy was a performer from 2014. I'm not sure if he won. But the way he was described to me was that he sings without speaking. Okay. And that he's got an amazing voice. And that was enough to make me go, all right, I'm going to check it out. Because when something sounds a little bit odd or quirky, oh, I love that. I love it. Don't tell me this is like calling. Maybe it is. Maybe he does calling here. Uh, I don't know if the word Daniel's Joke is the name of the song or another performer. Uh, there isn't much information about this beyond the fact that this is a pretty old performance. Wow, so, 12 million. Yeah, it's got 12 million views. So I don't know what he's up to now. You know, if you are fans of him, let us know because, I mean, this video does well. If you're fans of him, of course, you know, subscribe, comment, leave us some likes, all this good stuff because it tells mm -hmm. us that, you know, it's worth going back and Right. discover these artists that we never heard of which means probably a lot of the world has heard of either mm. um so yeah that's all i know of them all right i'm excited because we're gonna hear a new artist yes this time. every time we get a chance to discover a new artist oh it's, it's like a treasure so treasure box treasure box <laughs> it's like a loot box loot it's box. like a loot crate loot crate oh shut out oh now you're going bankrupt <laughs> oh yeah you know that yeah, so all my stock is Did worthless. Did you see my face? <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that later, babe. Okay. I used to work at Loot Crate. <laughs> Very popular company. Fastest growing company in the United States. Uh, apparently just declared bankruptcy. I need to, I need to all right, all right. change Enough my mood. Don't worry. Um, don't. Okay, baby, let's have... <laughs> good mood now. Good mood now. Good mood now. You better... Okay, good mood. John man. Henry will make you feel good. All right. <laughs> let's do this. And away we go. Oh my god! He's a real life reindeer herder, like Sven from Frozen. So what do they do with reindeer? Do they eat them? Or milk? Yeah, they folk direct. Oh. No wonder he doesn't look Swedish. He's got the most gorgeous dark tan. I'm like, how is he getting that in Sweden? Also, fortsatte det så ända upp i att jag var 15, 16 år. Oh, he was bullied till 15, 16 years old. Eller att jag, ja, att jag var samer. Och det ena de drev men och så där. Why is it that as a society we want to bully those that are different from us? I know. Doesn't matter what country in, if someone's different. Vem är du? Jona Henrik Fjällgren heter jag. Vilken fin mössa du har. Den är Tack helt fantastisk. Du. Tack så mycket. Kan du ha en likadan faktiskt? <laughs> ja. <laughs> Hela din outfit är jättefin. Ja, du, det är det. Man blir nyfiken. Is it a traditional Swedish outfit? Let us know because it sounds like they're a little surprised by the look as if it's not something they typically see. Vilken direkt när du kliver in vad, vad det ska bli liksom, vad vi ska få se. Eh, vad ska du göra? Jag ska jojka min bästa väns Eh, vän som har gått bort för fyra år sedan. Är det någonting Fint. du har gjort själv? Du har skrivit Ja, med? allt jag har gjort själv. Ja, ja. Det har hänt väldigt mycket jobbigt i mitt liv. Men det värsta var då min bästa vän Daniel gick bort. Mm, I feel him. Rest in peace, Vic. När Daniel dog så, så satt jag mig utanför hans stuga. I Ungdalen satte mig och badgjorde jag faktiskt. Och sen när jag Daniels satt där friend. och grät. That's the name of the song. Och sen ah. med den här jojken. Och den landade i mitt huvud. Så efter jag jojkade den så kändes det mycket. So he wrote this song he then. He wrote it. Yeah. It's original song. It's original song. Jag vill hylla Daniel ikväll. 
och hans familj för den personen han var. Man, this guy's got a good heart. Jung Hendrik. Of course, not John Henry. I forgot the J is silent. Silent. Jung ah. Hendrik. All right, my man. I believe in you. Wow, he's got an amazing voice. Yeah. I mean, the song hasn't even started. That voice just stands out. got some amazing voice control just really tight very sharp and clear mm -hmm. wow Ooh, even without beautiful. knowing what the song's about you can feel the soul in it Everybody's mesmerized. It's, yeah, I mean. They heard the backstory if they know about it or if they're just the song he's I mean. like teary eye <laughs> think he's got more it's done. Oh, that was it? Wow. <laughs> Why are you uh, playing? Henrik, I must say that there was a feeling and an innerlighet that was very, very strong. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, normally we'd ask help for translating, but there are actually English subtitles for this one, so right. we're able to follow along, see what the judges are saying. Text, som jag förstår, och ändå kunna bli berörd. Det märks direkt när det någonting kommer från hjärtat och det är någonting som äkta. Och det spelar ingen roll överhuvudtaget att det, man inte förstår någonting överhuvudtaget, men man förstår att det här kommer här inifrån. So I guess it doesn't have lyrics. He's mm -hmm. not seen in I Swedish. I just... It's just, it's almost like chanting. They must share some of the backstory. Maybe they played on the monitor beforehand, like when we see the montage, who they are. Right. They play that ahead of time, like a pre-cut scene. So this way they can get into the story, the element of like you know who the song is for. Otherwise, they won't know, right? And because of that, they're not actually invested. Well, he said it too. He wrote this song because of his best friend who died. Yes, but I think when you understand also what he's been through in life and what he does now, how he came from, his story. Right. You know, I mean. Right. 
I think that's why you're crying. It's not uh-huh. just this for his friend. It's right. this whole journey that mm-hmm. he's been on that's taken him here. It is absolutely heart wrenching right, story. Right. Well, a reindeer hoarder. Hoarder? Ho- not a hoarder. <laughs> Horror means you, it's, it's a sickness where you like yes, collect yes, crap I in know, your house. Yes, yes, I know. Herder. I know. I did. I just said something. Herder. 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 <laughs> hey, he can play organ. He can play piano. Well, you think reindeer herders can't play piano? What you, they're on the I field all day or something. I don't know how far they have to go and work to do that kind of job. I don't know. But I'm so happy to see him playing his own music. That is lovely. Oh my gosh, he's talented. Yeah. One of the judges said it is beautiful. It touches you, even it has no lyrics. Whatever those words coming out from his mouth is just beautiful, pure. It's calling, calling, and saying, and just expressing the feelings that he had for, for his best friend. That that made me cry. Oh, you could tell when he's seeing he still has that emotional connection with mm. his friend. That it still means something. That it touches him. As right. He's still just pulling it together. Right, right. And I wonder if he made original song before, before his friend died. Or he's been, obviously he's been playing music or singing. Cause yeah, if you make one original song, you're making good. several. You know, he it, it's probably his pastime. It, mm. You know, when he's done and it's out in a remote place like that, you know, you play music and you come up with stuff. It is Right, that is beautiful. Thanks for sharing your talent to everybody. What a yeah, beautiful Yeah, thank you experience. all. Great recommendation. I never would have thought we would go back to 2000. 2014 on a talent show like 